So guys, be honest with me. Have you ever seen a virus scanner this fast? Uh, let's scan real good. Go. So one, two, that's not complete. Uh, let's scan this one over here. One, two, three, that's not complete. Uh, let's scan Plex. One, two, three, four, and that's now complete. So what we're looking at here is the brand new version of the DevSquid application, which was only updated yesterday, giving you new features, new enhancements, even more bug fixes, and just overall a better experience. Now, I wasn't planning on making a video today because of the holiday season, but lots of you were waiting for this update and when you look at some of the new features, I think you will find it very, very impressive. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now I'm doing a demonstration on the Amazon 4K Fire Stick Max, but you can use this application on any other Amazon device and also your Android TV devices like the Chromecast with Google TV or your Nvidia Shields. Now we can see that the latest version is 1.4.0 and this is not available in the Amazon App Store, but I will be showing you how you can get this latest version at the end of this video. Let's open that up. Now the first thing he's changed is the mechanism on how this detects your current location. And the purpose of this was that for the people that do use a VPN, you want to make sure that once you have activated your VPN, you can see your VPN location and not your actual location. So I know with the first release of this application, there were some challenges around this, but using this latest version, it should detect where you are. And when you activate your VPN, if it cannot detect where you are, that means your VPN is doing its job properly or it's properly masking your location. Let's go over to the speed test. Now, the previous version of this was using fast.com and there were some discrepancies with this and with the latest version, he's now using the speed test from Ookla. Let's do a quick test with that. And we can see on my 4K Fire Stick mags, I'm comfortably pushing uh, almost 200 okay so more than 200 meg uh, which is a great speed to get on this small fire stick that's working great now let's go over to the cleaner now i will just say uh, the first time you do do this that you will have to give permission and also just to be wary that if you are using a custom build when you click on clean device it's always advisable to click on no here because depending on which build you're using, you may find that it does get cleaned out by clicking on yes here. So if you are using a custom build, click on no, but in my example, I'm gonna click on yes. So this is now going to clean all of those junk files, those temporary files, those temporary application installation files. All of them will now be removed from my device. Now the virus scan is probably where he's made most of the changes and I've just done a fresh installation just so you can see in real time how this has been updated. Now probably the first thing you noticed is that when you do click on an application to do a manual scan, you do get a nice looking uh, animation just to show you the progress bar. Now the big change that he's made is once you scan an application, it actually saves the results of that scan on a caching server. And what that means is the next time somebody else scans the same application, as long as those applications are matching, you'll get a result more or less straight away. So this is what you see on VirusTotal that on that website, if somebody has already scanned the same application that you're trying to scan, you get the results back very, very quickly. And then the same thing here, because I've already scanned these six applications. Let's say for example, I want to scan Kapang, click on that. And literally within a couple of seconds, because the application was previously scanned, we get the results straight away. And this now tells us that from our 42 applications or 43 applications, one of them is completely harmless. Similarly, I've already scanned the real good application. Give that a second and that comes back. So what this means is because the more people that use this application, because generally most people use the same applications, the same third party applications, as long as somebody has already scanned that already, if you try and scan it on your device, you will get the results back very, very quickly. I mean, that was one of the things that people complained about that the deep scanning process or the virus scanning process was very, very slow. But with this new update, 
you'll see that the results come back very, very quick. Let's go to my device. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag TD, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Now, for people that have never seen this application before, this is a great section where you can quickly get to the common settings of your device. So, for example, if I want to change my theater settings, I can click on this. This takes me straight to those options there, which I can then change. Similarly, if I want to change my uh, controller settings or my Bluetooth settings, I can click on this. And this also takes me to those settings there. So a great way for you to get to your common settings that you regularly use on your device. Then we have the manage applications. And this is one of those amazing features of this application where you can quickly see the processes running in the background and then very, very quickly for stop them. Say for example, we can see that um, real good is running in the background. Let's click on for stop, for stop again, press the back button. And we can see that now actually says stop. So what that means is the application was running in the background, but now that we full stopped it, that's not running anymore, which means it's not consuming any of your valuable memory or CPU cycles. And the less things you have running in the background, the general better performance you'll have on your device. Similarly, we can see that Plex is running, full stop, full stop again, press back on the remote. That's now also stopped. So this really is a great way for you to quickly see what's running in the background on your device and then very quickly stop it. And let's click on the hamburger menu just to confirm that this is the latest version of DevSquid, which is 140. So great update, lots of fixes, definitely lots of under the hood performance tweaks, and also that massive change to those virus scanning options. So definitely worthwhile checking out. Let me now show you how you can get this latest version on all of your devices. Okay, so to get the latest version of this application, as of the 24th of December, open up your favorite browser, navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or if you're using Downloader, you can use the short code 53402. When you get to my site, head over to the hamburger menu, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be the update to this application. Let's scroll down. Now, the great thing is because the developer is very responsive, very helpful, and he's actually told me that I can put a hot link on my site which means when you use the link from my site, you'll always get the latest version of his application. So click on the link here, click on this green download button, and this will install the latest version on your device. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do have some other videos lined up for this channel and my extra channel. So while everybody's off for the holiday season, there will be more stuff from the Tech Doctor or the Tech Doctor UK Extra channel for you guys to enjoy. So make sure you are subscribed to both channels with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.